Generic greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. In the previous episode, we managed to add some more tanks and indeed populate them. So on the left hand side here, we have a tank full of really fussy fish. We had to mess around with that one, but they're all alright right now. They're all getting on. We have some fish here which are all spiny and things like that. Actually, are those ones? Uh, a little bit. They've got some sort of saw blade on the back there uh, on the fin. But yeah, either way, um, that's a very, very spiky fish. <laughs> yeah, the um, the <laughs> people who work in the aquarium don't like coming in here to clean the tank because, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's Gerald. He's a little bit of a git. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, we managed to do that one. Uh, and then we've got this one with just one solitary, lonesome Mora eel in there. But we will be populating that as we progress on. The problem we have is that this water quality here is not good enough because... Um, we don't have oh the, the fish have grown so what I'm gonna do is delete that protein skimmer and then go ahead and buy a better one and that should hopefully fulfill them needs which it has excellent okay so we have now unlocked uh, in the previous episode where is it it is the schooling banner fish which has a different requirement that we've seen before it's an active swimmer which requires a tank with uh, 30 or more um, I don't know what call it depth or just um, size. Uh, we also need to put uh, six of them in one tank. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then we need to uh, make sure the water quality is high enough. And I will simply place um, a protein skimmer in there and then boom, we now complete that objective which is yeah, just fantastic. As promised, here are the toadstool leather corals which we now have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them uh, I can only carry one at a time. I'm going to place them in here and in there. There we go. So there's the corals in. Uh, you can now buy them from the left, I believe, as well. Uh, where is it? Yes, it is in there. This is why I had to restart my game because previously, uh, when I was on this one, it, it wouldn't um, sit there. I just realised the animate when you mouse over them as well. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you didn't have these, if you didn't place them or they died, then it you couldn't get them back, which was um, really annoying. But anyway, so we need to light this place up. So we'll use a power light, which is a 10. There we go. And we need to filter it and do all of that sort of thing. We also need, I think, a door around here so we can have um, staff coming in and out. So let's do just that. So we'll have a staff door. We need to demolish that bit first, though. I keep forgetting that you can't just place it over there, which you should be able to, I think. It should just, it should just a door should delete that bit and then place it there. Just make it easier. Uh, we are currently halfway with our power pump, which is something I really, really wanted to research before now. But anyway, we'll go for a basic pump. So we'll go for a basic pump in here and then connect up that. Uh, and we'll probably have to do the same thing again. So we'll do that. Um, let's just see how we get on. So, it requires uh, some heat and some filtration. So we're going to use large heater, like so, which um, has made it fine actually we will also have a large uh, filter and we'll go ahead and preemptively place a, a large protein skimmer as well there we go so we need to feed the coral so the coral we will have a plankton dispenser there but also while we're over here get a tool station and a broom stand and I don't know if we need the cleaner bit yet put the tool dispenser there, that there tool dispenser and the sponge thing, what's it actually say about it? provides a sponge that your staff can use to wash things that get dirty okay fine so we will unpause it and we now have them corals, oh they're really cool aren't they? Nice. The tank is bare though, and I know I know that these will complain about it. So we need blue tubular sponge in there, which we should already have unlocked now. Which we oh no, we have disco mushrooms. We're unlocking blue tubular sponge, uh, and we need um, Daisy Star polyps, which we don't have unlocked. Um, and to do that, we need a fully grown lionfish, which is it fully grown? It is size six, so it's halfway there. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if we want the lionfish in there. Um, it just says assemble the list and then you get that. So we'll see. Um, so here's all of the messages saying it's grown. And yes, we are aware of that. That's fine. Um, day 27, we need to 
Um, Daisy Star Polyps, we need a Porcupine Puffer at um, full level. Hmm. So we'll be getting that researched later on. Ooh. There we go. Uh, so, there you go. Fully grown lionfish. We've got two of one. So that's fine. That's good. So might as well max speed that out. Uh, this will have some more... This will have some more corals in it. But what do I want to do in the meantime? Um, I think having some, like, rubble will probably be a bit too big. Oh, there's our large pump unlock. We'll go for the Belfast tank. Place some rubble in there. Because... It offsets the the darkness of the uh, where the corals are sitting on quite nicely, so that's what we're going to have. It's all going to be like a rocky bed. We should also ideally make that a Pacific, actually it's currently Pacific, tropical. Yeah, it's now some tropical now. We could probably do the same over here as well, like that. Do a lot to these ones. There's the tropical colours. There's our tubular sponge. I'm going to go for the porcupine puffer. Um, for some of the ones, these aren't really, doesn't really, tropical doesn't really set it off nicely. I think the better one is the harborside paint. Like that. See, I like the harborside paint much more. Especially when it's, uh, you've got like things like the anchors in there. Yeah, that's a bit better. So we'd have set, we'd have um, different colours and sections if it was in a, a bigger aquarium. But it isn't, so we're not. Right, so we've got those unlock now our tubular sponges so one two three four and then we need daisy staff polyps as well there's the belfast tank nothing else to research belfast tank is a bit of a strange one if i show you um show you it now it's um Im immediately you can see it's a fairly large tank and bear in mind that you can expand this to um much longer as well um, and that person is how, how did you get in here I don't know how they got in I'm guessing when these doors open they just wander through I don't really know um, we could use some more fizzy drinks machines around the place I don't know where to put them though they're in there probably and do we want seating I don't think we do there's a porcupine puffer which is good. Pick next research. We'll go for Coral Beauty. And it does look like a nice fish. Um, but we need to... We need to place that porcupine puffer. That's a box and puffer fish. So it is a wimp. It is armoured. It is... Oh, it doesn't like crustaceans size one or less. And it takes five days to grow. So where can we put that in with? Um... This wall tank is 100 of 112. Everything in there is fully grown as far as I'm aware. So I think we could probably put it in there because I don't think any of these are bullies. I think we specifically didn't put any bullies in there. Oh, yes, wimps. There we go. So it's going to go in that tank there. So we want to put that in there. It doesn't dislike anything else, does it not? It doesn't. So uh, it goes to size 8. So there we go. And for some reason, the water quality is not high enough, even though we've got a protein skimmer. Um... What I'll do is I'll place another... I'll place a, just another large filter in there. And that should do that. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we also need cockles, which you can see is um, getting dealt with. I'm going to hire one more staff member. Would like a, a bit of an all-rounder. So I guess that's going to have to be Harry. There we go. Harry is now hired. And... We just need to get the Daisy Star polyps up and running. What we'll do in the meantime is we'll put another corner tank in, just because we can. So, do you want to have a Belfast tank? Uh, no, it's just too large, the Belfast tank, for what we're trying to achieve. So, we'll have a, um, a deep corner tank. So, it'll just be that size. That should be fine. And we'll just delete these. And we'll pick that up. And we'll move it to there. There we go. And we'll put a, we might as well put a staff door there, mightn't we? Like so. Okay. So we need a way up this, uh, up to this. So we'll have a bit like so. Mm. Can you put them on both sides? Yes, you can. <laughs> right. So, it would look better in the centre, wouldn't it? 
Not that there is a center, so we're just going to leave it. Right, so we want a large filter and a large heater, and that'll be more than enough for this thing. So what fish haven't we got? Um, I think we've got some royal grammars. Um, the schooling banner fish, we've got some. I'm going to wait until we get this fish done, I think. I think so. I think so. Let's have a look at our new fish. Oh, the angel fish are nice, aren't they? Oh, and they're all sort of swimming together and swimming around. That's good. Let's have a pause and have a better look at it. They look surprised. There we go. Right, excellent. So, Daisy Star polyps are required. Um, there's our Coral Beauty. Um, oh, can only have one of them anyway. Ugh. Um, we're going to go for a... Look at that one. Fuzzy Dwarf Lionfish. Loads of requirements. Also says skill required. Feeling will, require f uh, will be time consuming without some skill. Alright. So, what we'll do is we will plonk down our... new fish, the coral beauty. So it cannot be housed with a coral beauty. Right. It's a wimp. Ah, but we can have these two together. And also can eat stony corals. There's one angel fish. And there's another angel fish. Now because they're different species, they're sorry, the same um, I don't know, the same species? Angelfish, yeah, I guess so. But they don't like their own... They don't like their own, basically, in this tank. They're probably territorial or something, even though that one's a wimp. Anyway, so we want other fish that are wimpy. Or what other fish could we have? Uh, crustacean, I think that one eats crustaceans. No, it doesn't. Stony corals, so we could put some crustaceans in there. Which you go because they actually clean the tank. <laughs> if we go down to this, you can see they actually have a... a where is it? Yes, there you go. F uh, filter power. Helps maintain basic water quality. Uh, so we want some other wimps in here, probably. Um, that's a quite nice looking fish. So that'll probably go in there. Royal Grammars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12. Because I don't think any of these grow, do they? That doesn't grow. And that doesn't grow. So that's fine. That's fine then. Um, we need to filter the water a little bit more. Which we will do by placing a large power filter because we've got the money to do so. So we need some more grass in here. So that's what we're going to place. It's going to be like eel grass and um, this sort of thing. So that there and there and there. In fact, we'll place... No, I think that'll be fine. And then we'll have some kelp. We'll make a very kelpy tank. And that should be it. So we need to have the feeders probably next to it. One there. And one there. And let's have a look at our new tank. Oh, very colourful. I was going, that's what I was going for, something where there are lots of bright colours. And the, I, I saw that these are sort of similar colour to that. So they sort of, they sort of do sort of match. Uh, that's the leader. <laughs> See, we've got a lot of tanks with big fish. And then angel fish are quite large. I didn't realise they were actually that size. I mean, look at that. That's really, a lot of, a lot of, we've got a lot of big fish in the, these tanks. So I thought, just a tank full of loads of little ones would actually be quite good. And yeah, that does seem to work. Uh, and in fact, we are getting uh, <laughs> nearly, uh, was it 670 it peaked up there? Something like that. Uh, prestige. So people seem to like what we're doing, which is excellent. Uh, this has not got the right temperature for some reason. So I, oh, because it's currently um, broken. So uh, that's going to get fixed. And now it has got the right temperature. Excellent. Let's have another look at this one while we're here. Yeah, that one looks okay. I like the way that the sort of like move around them ones and it's not just the water it's not just the um, 
parallaxing of that. It's the it's the uh, animation of it. So we got that re uh, fuzzy dwarf lionfish. So we've only got one more fish to research. Uh, and I'm just going to see if our fish in here has been fully... Is it fully grown yet? It is. The porcupine puff is fully grown. So we should be able to pick that up. And there we go. Trade complete. So we should now have in the build menu our new fish. We do. Daisy star polyps. How many do we need? One, two, three, four. And that is technically complete. You did it. You've managed to build Collector's Dream Aquarium. Uh, almost from scratch. Mostly with the profits generated by the aquarium itself. You should be very proud. Such a high profile client under your belt. You've attracted the attention of historic aquarium Valberg. So continue or go to Valberg. I say close for now. I will go and check that out in a bit. Because I want to finish this tank off. It would be rude not to have um, all of the corals in here. Fill it up with coral. I don't know if this would work. <laughs> I know nothing about corals. Other than my friend had some at one point. And that actually looks really stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it looks fairly daft. Mm. Probably need some more rocks. Too much too much life form, not enough inanimate object. Mm. Oh well, it's not too bad. It's all right. It might look better in. Well, it might. It'll actually look better when they grow because obviously it's a lot. They look a bit daft at the moment, but these ones do grow. So, um, where is it? Um, those ones they have growth time. The did star polyps. Um, so do those. The disco mushrooms. Uh, the sponges do. And these ones, yes, they all have growth time. So basically, they're going to get a lot bigger as it progresses on. So, yeah, that'll be. Uh, all right, but that has been number three. Now a nice little aquarium, and oh, that's now dirty. Yeah, that's why we require a bucket and a sponge. Yeah, I think we're gonna hire one more person good at cleaning. Maybe we don't have anyone. Let's go. That all gets one with feeding then, because generally the order of the day. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I think we've we've not only mechanically done all right, as in we haven't messed up our placement of the fish, but we've actually made some decent looking tanks, he says as he goes past one of the hideous looking ones. Um, yeah, I think they're all, like, they're not, you know, colour coordinated, but, you know, that's very colourful. You know, you've got some pinks and yellows in there, and purples. We've got stripey tank. We've got spiky tank. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. Either way, I think we've done quite well, and I'm very happy with that one. So next episode, we're going to go ahead and go to... Um... Valberg, I believe it's called. The uh, new one. Uh, do you want to quit? No, I really, really don't. So yeah, that'll be next episode. We'll go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll do Valberg. In fact, should we see what it's like? Uh, no, we'll wait until uh, next episode. There's Valberg Unlocked, and we will crack on with this historic aquarium. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.